Hello friends, this video conic section part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched conic section part 1 to part 4. Parabola is a conic section you get when alpha is equal to beta. We have seen that. Parabola is also you can define as the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a line. Please note this is a line and a fixed point. So you see this is a fixed point and this is a line. Points which are equidistant from line and the point. So P1, P2, P3 are the points which are equidistant from the fixed point that is focus and also they are equidistant from line L. So thus we can see that P3F, if you see P3F, this is equal to P3B3. Similarly P2F, this line is equal to P2B2. P1F, this is equal to P1B1. Similarly you can draw more points here if you want, you can draw, let's suppose P0, P0. So this line length and this point length, this is let's suppose B0. This should be equal to this. This is equal to this. This is equal to this. This is equal to this. Correct. This, if you draw a curve like this, where if you see the points, all these points P1, P2, P3, I'll take XY here because this. So any point on this curve, you say P1, P2, P3, P4, for those points, the distance of those points from the line, a fixed line, and the distance of those points from a fixed point is same. Correct? The distance of this point, P1, P2, P3, 4, from focus, and the distance of these points from B1, B2, B3, these are the distance, the point on the lines are same. So please note, Parabola is set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line and a fixed point. Here both are not points, neither both are line. One is fixed point and the other is fixed line. This line is fixed and this point is fixed. Correct? And this is called parabola. In parabola, this axis is called axis. The fixed point is called focus. The point where the parabola meets the axis is called vertex. And this line is called directrix. The fixed line is called directrix. This is nothing but fixed line. It is called directrix. The focus is fixed point. This line about which the parabola is symmetry, this is called axis and the point at which the, the parabola meets the axis is called vertex. Axis is a line and vertex is a point. Please note, vertex is a point in the axis where the parabola meets, focus is the fixed point, directrix is the fixed line and this is the parabola, the curve shape. So let me repeat once again. Fixed line is called directrix. Fixed point is called focus as I told. This is the focus. A line through focus and perpendicular to directrix is called axis. This is the line through focus and perpendicular to directrix is called axis. And the point of intersection of axis with the, with the parabola is called vertex. Now let's find the equation of parabola. Equation of the parabola is simplest when the vertex is at origin and the directrix is along x or y axis. We can complicate this but for our class, for this class 11th, we are not going to take parabola where the vertex is non-origin and directrix are non-x and y axis. We will take only those parabola where the vertex is origin and the directrix is x or y axis. There are four possible options. x is equal to minus a. So in this case the directrix you see is equal to x is equal to minus a. And the vertex is the origin, this is the vertex. And the fo focus is a comma 0. 
So here the equation is y square is equal to 4ax. y square is equal to 4ax. Please remember this formula y square is equal to 4ax and remember this graph where the vertex is origin, focus is a comma 0 and the directress is x is equal to minus a. This is equal to y square is equal to 4ax. This is a very common formula for parabola. In 90% of the case, we'll use this diagram only. The other is x is equal to minus a. Here the directrix is s equal to minus a. And here the parabola is towards right. In first case, the parabola opens towards left. Here the parabola opens towards right. And the focus is minus a comma 0. We can also have parabola like this where the directrix is x y is equal to minus a and this parabola opens towards up and the focus is 0 comma a. If you see this is on the y axis and the equation is x square is equal to 4y. In this case equation was y square is equal to minus 4x. The fourth case we can have is where the directrix is y is equal to a and the focus is 0 comma minus, y, minus a that is on the y axis and the equation is x square is equal to minus 4ay. So if you see this, there are four kind of parabola, y square is equal to 4x, y square is equal to minus 4x, x square is equal to 4ay and x square is equal to minus 4ay. When the equation is y square is equal to 4ax form or y square is equal to minus 4ax form, this geometric, this uh, parabola is in this shape where it is symmetrical from x axis. This point if you see will be same as this point. Similarly, when it is x square is equal to 4ay form, that means this parabola is symmetrical from y axis. If you remember this formula, this figure, this is the most common used figure for parabola. And if you remember the equation y square is equal to 4ax, and you remember this directrix x equal to minus a, and the focus f is equal to a, you can derive all this also. See, in this case, you see this is just inverted focus has moved this side and a is equal to move this side. That is, we are replacing a by minus a. If you see, minus a became plus a here and plus a became minus a. So the equation becomes y square is equal to minus 4ax from y square is equal to ax. So here a is equal to, instead of a, we have put minus a. Similarly, this equation x square is equal to 4ay and this becomes x square is equal to minus 4ay. Here also a becomes a becomes minus and since this is going towards up opening towards up this equation is x square is equal to 4ay please remember this equation of parabola y square is equal to 4ax or y square is equal to minus 4ax x square is equal to plus 4ay or x square is equal to minus 4ay four different equation of parabola in all these four equation we see that the vertex is at origin if you see vertex is at origin and the directrix is parallel to x axis or perpendicular to x axis or you can say parallel to x or y axis. We will derive the formula of parabola. In case of parabola we are told that this length pb this length pb is equal to pf. These two lengths are equal that is this length is equal to this length. So I will say pb is equal to pf. Now we have to find the value of point b first. So if you see x is equal to minus a and b lies in this equation. So minus a will be the coordinate x coordinate for b. And for y coordinates since this line is parallel to this line bp is parallel to mf this y will be same. So this becomes minus a comma y. Let me repeat. Since b point lies in the equation x equal to minus a, x will be minus a and this line mf is parallel to bp so b will have y as y coordinate because p also have y as y coordinates. So this becomes minus a comma y. Now since we are told that BP is equal to, pb is equal to pf, let's find pb and pf. So pf 
is equal to x minus a square plus y square. If you see here, say pf is equal to root of distance between p and f that is x minus a square plus y square. That is the value of pf x minus a square plus y square because x y and a comma 0 distance we have to find. Similarly for p b we have to find the distance between p b that is x minus minus a square plus y minus y square because both are y. So this becomes root of x plus a square. Now we are told that p f is equal to P B. So we can say that P F is equal to P B or we can say that root of X minus A square plus Y square is equal to root of X plus A square. I square both the side. I square this left side and I will square right hand side. So what I will get is I will expand this also this becomes X square plus a square minus 2ax plus y square is equal to x square plus a square plus 2ax x square a square x square a square cancel or I get y square is equal to 4ax and this is our equation of the parabola. Very simple what we have done we have taken a point P in the parabola we have the focus and we have this point B since we are told that by definition parabola is a geometrical curve such that any point in that curve you find the distance of that point from, from the fixed point and you find the distance of that point from a fixed line the distance is same. So in our case the fixed line is this that is directrix and fixed point is this that is focus. So PF is equal to PV. PF is equal to PV. We have equated this and we got y square is equal to 4ax. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.